Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Wednesday, July the 26th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. We're reading the first option of the choices from the Revised Common Lectionary for today. We are in the season, the church season after Pentecost in year A, and our psalm is Psalm Number 75, the word Salah appears at the end of the third verse, so at that point I will pause for an extended time because that is what that word commands us to do. To the choir master, according to Do Not Destroy, a psalm of Asaph, a song. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your name is near. We recount your wondrous deeds. At the time that I appoint, I will judge with equity. When the earth totters and all its inhabitants, it is I who keep steady its pillars. I say to the boastful, do not boast, and to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up your horn on high or speak with a haughty neck. For not from the east or from the west, and not from the wilderness comes uplifting, comes lifting up, but it is God who executes judgment, putting down one and lifting up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup with foaming wine, well mixed, and he pours out from it, and all the wicked of the earth shall drain it down to the dregs. But I will declare it forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted up. Our reading from the Old Testament today comes from the book of the prophet Daniel. Chapter 12 verses 1 to 13. At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who has charge of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as has never been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky above, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, two others stood, one on this bank of the stream and one on that bank of the stream. And someone said to the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the stream, How long shall it be till the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the stream. He raised his right hand and his left hand toward heaven and swore by him who lives forever that it would be for a time, times, and half a time, and that when the shattering of the power of the holy people comes to an end, all these things would be finished. I heard, but I did not understand. Then I said, O oh my Lord, what shall be the outcome of these things? He said, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are shut up and sealed until the time of the end. Many shall purify themselves and make themselves white and be refined, but the wicked shall act wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but those who are wise shall understand. And from the time that the regular burnt offering is taken away and the abomination that makes desolate is set up, 
there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he who waits and arrives at the 1,335 days. But go your way till the end, and you shall rest and shall stand in your allotted place at the end of the days. Our reading from the New Testament comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 12, verses 15 to 21. Jesus, was, Jesus, aware of this, withdrew from there, and many followed him, and he healed them all, and ordered them not to make it, them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not quarrel or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us. Grant loving Father, that it may enter our minds, be written on our hearts, and deepen our souls, wherein it can achieve in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. As always, dear friends, I thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to listen to the Word of God read. I have placed the the selections for today in the description portion of this video, both the option one, which I read, and option two, for your reference, so that you can look them up yourselves. Until we can be together again tomorrow to hear the scriptures selected for that day, I bid you go in the peace of the Lord.